Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this little build tutorial for my recent design, my recent tier 10 plasma bomber, Sleek. A lot of you have asked for this, so I'm simply caving into popular demand and I'm making a very brief tutorial. First of all, we're going to have a look at what actually what actually makes up the Sleek, because a lot of people just simply asked how much did it cost and such, and then afterwards we're going to design it. Now, I've already designed it in the past to put after this clip, and I must say that it is very slightly different to the one you saw in the video. It's actually... Because the one you saw in the video was actually a bit of an experimental idea of mine. It was a number two design. I've gone back to the original, which is a little bit um, shorter, but a lot better defended. I've played a few games since that clip, and it does a lot better. So I'm giving you the better variation. So we'll go in um, anti-clockwise order to be annoying, and we'll see what it's actually made of. So when it's made of, I can't remember exactly the number of uh, tier 10 cubes, because that kind of slipped my mind, but I think it's around about eight tier 10 cubes and two tier 10 prisms. It uses 183 of the tier X1, TX1 um, armor cubes, so that's quite a bit and that's where most of the cost comes from it, and of course one speedometer. It uses 20 tier X1 cube prisms, and again, very, very expensive. They are 23 each, for people who were wondering, they are 23 or, yeah, almost 24k each, so it is a bit of a cost there, but the whole point of Sleek is to allow a normal plasma build with, you know, less exotic shielding, and still be somewhat viable. In fact, we saw in videos recently, it actually can do exceedingly well. We then use a grand total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We use 7 tier 8 thrusters, which are, sorry, tier 10 thrusters rather, 8 tier 10 thrusters, as is shown here by our lovely white display panel. We have 5, not 6, but 5 tier 10 plasmas, because we run out of CPU with this build very quickly. You can sacrifice one of these thrusters for that, and you'll see that in the build tutorial. You can very easily swap out. And if I don't mention it in the tutorial, it's essentially the back section where I put 2 thrusters, you can put 2 two plasma bombers and then replace the center plasma with a thruster. You just have to t take away a little bit of armor, that's all. Then we have, wait, oh no, they glitched out, they were there a second ago, oh, the humanity, sir and sir, it's the humanity. Well, we have three tier 10 rudders and two tier 10 aerophiles. We then have, I like showing it in here because it shows exactly what they are. In hardware, we have four tier 10, two Tier uh, tier nine, of course. When I say two, it always means symmetrical. So two, so one left, one right, and then we have two tier seven electroplates, and of course a tier nine radar jammer. This will come to a grand total of seven million two hundred ninety-nine thousand one hundred and sixty-two RP, which is actually quite cheap for a tier ten um, vehicle. I've actually found because my recent SMG hover costs a good one and a half million more than this. I don't know how I've managed to achieve it. And this will use up all of your CPU. This will completely use up 1,511 CPU upon building, as you'll see in a second. So, back in a second with the actual build. I'm not going to really do like a block for block kind of thing, but I am going to build it while talking to you reasons why I'm actually doing it. So, back to you, past self. And we are back, and so the construction begins. Now, it, this is going to be weird for me, by the way, sir and sir. It's because of the last part you just saw, I'm actually recording next, and I've definitely got a count of the blocks and such I'm going to use. So this is a bit of a weird one for me. I don't really do tutorials very often, and I certainly don't do things like um, build videos that often either. Actually, in fact, I was going to say that the other way around, but still, it makes the same amount of sense. So I'm just going to simply build. I'm going to build the vehicle again. I wanted to make some changes anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. And with the changes, let's just uh, shove this forward a bit. With the changes, I'm just going to explain why I'm doing certain things, why I believe that's the correct and or wrong thing to do, and we're just going to carry on from there, honestly. Nothing special, nothing different. So, to start off with, originally, the core was two blocks. That's how it was done. It was, uh, it was two blocks wide and two blocks deep. However, I'm going to change that just for this one, and it's going to be three but we're going to be moving the seat a lot more forward. So, essentially that's our core. And yes, you can try force. If you want to try force, go ahead. 
I do now understand how a good Triforce core works, despite the last Everton video being a sham. And I have used Prisms underneath purely because it still slows down the damage to your seed, even if only by a little. And I do mean that as in a little, cer under certain circumstances, the damage is simply um, negated. So, to start off with, we're going to do the front. The front's going to be done first, and then what we have left over, we will do on the tail of the bot. So, as we know in, with, with the design in previous incarnations, it is made with two sections, essentially. It has a front and the back, and the front is the main part, and both of them have rudders. Both of them have the aerophiles, and that is the two sections with a connecting piece in the middle. Essentially, it's a T, so and so. That's, that's, uh, that is the gist of it. It is essentially a T. Now, how we're going to do it is how I've always done it. With the two blocks there, go to tier 10, where tier 10 aerophile, and then simply shove this in here. Oops, a daisy, one too wide. Now, the reason why I'm using tier 10 blocks, because people did ask me in the previous video, is purely as a weight thing. It's simply to weigh down the bot. However, I'm going to change that a little bit. There we go. Because these blocks are exceedingly light, they're ridiculously light, if you don't have some kind of weight, even if it is just more thrusters on the front, which isn't going to be the case with this, it can cause a few issues in terms of controlling the vehicle. The, the plane can be a bit... Um, hard to control. So for defence we're going to go with a very simple design which I always do on almost all of my flyers which is just a bit of a, a, a serrated kind of um, over and under wing. And this is going to have to come out one further though because, well could we put it on the bottom, actually no we'll do it on the bottom. Yeah let's just have a quick check of that. So just, like I say I'm just simply rebuilding it and I wanted to make some changes anyway so I'm simply seeing where they could go. Now that'd be better, would that that'd be better, okay, so we're going to put it on the top. We're using tier 10 shields on the very front because I do, I have found that I, there's a tendency for enemy flyers, to simply, for enemy flyers, SMGs, etc, to hit us from the front as we fly around happily, so putting these shields here does protect the wings quite nicely from any frontal attacks. Now, we could put these shields a bit further forward. And the reason for that is the fact we could then defend our thrusters, but I'm simply not going to do that because A, I'm lazy, and B, we do have a very limited amount of P-flops we can actually use, which is one argument against using these, and now I do realise why I've put them on the bottom in the past. Yep, we're going to put them on the bottom instead, so and so Sorry about that, that is my mistake. So putting the tier 10 shields back on the bottom, because I've just realised why we put them on, because thinking then to myself, that looks better. And I'm almost certain it functions better. Why would I not put them there? Now, could I put them on for the back? If I can, then that would be absolutely fantastic. But if I can't, then we'll just continue as we were. It's absolutely fine. We can. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it then. We're going to have it like this, and that will protect the wings from the front, which is wonderful. And the reason I had to put them back is because we are using tier 7. Now, the reason we're using these, they are pretty weak, is because they can cover the thrust that we're going to add to the top. Now we don't actually need this, I must stress, this thrust is actually optional if you want to not add it, if you want to add it, completely your choice. It simply helps with the raising of the flyer. Now this flyer is exceedingly light and the wings can actually do this themselves. So you must remember that the wings can raise this flyer if you want to, because again these blocks are ridiculously light. I would actually recommend, it's up to you though, this is your discretion, you could start adding some tier 10 blocks to this section just to weigh it down. What I'm going to do, however, is simply try and sneak some prisms here and there, get some armour into the cracks. So as always, so interesting, my kind of tutorial, because I don't like doing block for block tutorials, I don't like simply saying, go and do this, this is how it's done, because I, I don't do that. I, that's not my way of thinking, that's not my way of designing. How I design is simply a kind of experimental throw things at the wall see what sticks kind of attitude. It's a matter of what I personally enjoy at the time. So right now that's what we're going to do. Then to continue onwards we're going to use tier 9 and this is going to crisscross with this and act as a bit of a defense from the top. Now you may be thinking why am I going so heavily in, into shields on the top and not on the bottom? And the reason is quite simple. Honestly speaking I struggle very little when it comes to ground targets. Ground targets tend to not kill me. They do kill me occasionally, certainly. That's not to say, I'm not saying that the ground is a safe and happy place for a flyer to be near and hug and such, but honestly speaking, I tend to have very little issue when it comes to flyers, when it comes to um, groundies, but flyers are a nightmare for this bot because you will be attacked by thruster sticks, and thruster sticks generally do better in a dog bat, in a dog fight than this, and thus, it's better to have shielding on the top 
for that kind of case. So now we're finally going to go into weaponry. We're going to have four. I used to have four on the front, I think. We're a little bit smaller than we used to be. So what we're going to do... Yeah, it's going to be splayed out a little bit further. How many blocks do I have left? Okay, I have 41 left. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are on track. So first we're going to do shields, just on here. And then finally, the last shield we're going to use is simply going to be shoved here nicely underneath that one here. Like so, and that is going to be the entire shielding for this bot. So it's a very front heavy shielding, and the whole idea is to protect this section here, which is definitely the most important part of the robot. Can you tell I don't do tutorials much, so interest? Because I'm still thinking about how I'm doing this on the fly myself. So we're going to just extend this a little bit further. Just because I did have four on the front. Now, there's two reasons why I want four on the front. There we go. That doesn't actually need to be that long either. How close can these two get? Like that. And how close can these get? Oh, actually, it doesn't feel long. Okay. That's actually a little bit longer than the old wings, but that's actually okay, because I've gone heavier on the undercarriage and the top carriage, which is... Eh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So, right. so now we're going to go back to using just two. Because the core is now secure, we're going to go back to two. There is shielding in place here. And now we're going to do the back section, which is going to be here. As you could stay with three, I think we'll stay with three, okay. So, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to see where our next weapon go. This this robot uses five weapons. It could use six if you wanted it to, but I personally don't really see much of a difference in terms of damage when I go to six, and we are definitely using more blocks than we used to, which is a bit of, a, of an issue, but that's absolutely fine. It just means we're going to be a little bit smaller, like my first design was. Honestly, the first design of this was actually better. I, uh, I actually made it bigger for YouTube for some reason, because I wanted to. So next we're going over there. Okay, so let's test it out for a second. Let's see how it flies. Then we're going to continue to figure out this. Because what I've done now, I've essentially I've thickened the front. The front is thicker than it used to be in terms of armour. And the good thing with this is, though, the shield is now protecting the rudder, which it didn't used to do, which is actually great. So let's see how it flies. It flies quickly. It flies how it used to. But it is a bit stumpier than the old variation, which is a bit... Uh, it's uglier. That's certainly a thing. Still does, what it, still does the intention, and honestly, I think this will do better than the old incarnation. It's a lot better defended in most places. The rudder should be a bit better protected, and all that good stuff. But we're not done yet, Seren Threats, and that's why we're a little bit slower. Because we still have two thrusters to place. We have two thrusters to place and the radar jammer. Now, I'm going to have to figure this out myself. Go on, Sleek. Load in. Excellent. There we go. So, currently, the issue is this. So... How are we going to do So before, how it worked was, I had the tier 9 jammer quite happily placed here, and then next to it, because this section wasn't... See, because this section wasn't like this, originally I had this section here. That's essentially how it worked. This section was removed and was placed on the back. So if you want to elongate the robot, it's fairly easy. You just shrink down the top here, because this is definitely longer than it used to be. In fact, I am going to take from the top wing quite significantly. And this bit wasn't quite as far out either. So there's several sections I have changed, but like I say, this is kind of my approach to things. I like to constantly progress, I like to try and better my designs, and if I just stay with the same design all the time, that's no fun. So that's no what's the point in that? That is absolutely pointless in my honest opinion. And that's going to need to be at least there. Oh, of course, that's how I used to do it. I used to have it one thick here. Yeah, that's how I used to do it. Oh, I see what I've changed. Okay, well, I won't even explain what I've changed, so it's because I wouldn't do that personally. So let's just do this. Now what I had was I had this, 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 and four out, which is not going to be as, as it used to be. So first of all, let's see where I can actually put the radar jump, because now we are on the same line of the weapon, which isn't how it used to be, which is the issue we're having. So if we can put this weapon one forward, that's going to make a world of difference. Okay, there we go. We're going to put it a few forward. That makes a world of difference, like I'm saying. Then go into special, put the radar jammer down on the back. Everybody's happy. And then we have how many? We have four cubes. We also have a lot of prisms, which is how I'm going to do the back section here. And this is the final thrusters, and they go here. There we go. That is essentially the flyer zone threats in a nutshell. It's very front heavy. Its weapons could be improved. It, there's many places it can be improved. We're just about to reach the CPU limit, so let's just shove some armor where I can. In fact, I just ran out of armor. I'm actually going to use tier 10 blocks just to weigh down the middle a little bit. And then we could actually weigh down the back very slightly, which is absolutely fine. We don't currently have prisms, but imagine if I had prisms, I'd probably put them here. So there, blank. Let's see how fast it goes. Now, see, the old version, 
used to go. I didn't show on. I oh, did I show on camera. I can't remember if I actually had on camera or not. Let's just remove those for a second. Used to go about 100, so 210 mph uh, miles per hour. So let's see how fast this version goes. If it goes 190 plus, I'll be happy enough because this is going to be a bit sturdier than the old design. It's uh, thicker in most places and it has a better shield placement and it's and it's about the same speed. Okay, it's a little bit slower than new speed, but only by a tiny, tiny margin. So that essentially, so and so, is the sleek. This is a uh, a smaller version of it, which is actually what I wanted because I was having issues off camera with the very back being knocked out. So, so and so, that's my that's my flyer tutorial. This is the kind of flyer I like. It's it's a more of a traditional design. It's more of a design you'd see in lower tiers, but I think it can certainly have a place in the higher tiers with the Mega Blocks. The reason, of course, the Mega Blocks is various reasons. So, thank you for watching Stone Stones. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great success if you do choose to build the vehicle. And if you haven't, I just hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and of course, do take care. Goodbye.